In this video, I'm going to teach you how to equip skills in Parasite. It's a very easy process, so make sure to follow along. In this video, I'm going to teach you how to obtain and manage your skills in Parasite. So, abilities are called skills in Parasites. All races share Kenjutsu and a list of obtainable skills while, ha while having their own exclusive set of skills. There are also obtainable skills like exclusive Arankar and Soul Reaper races Hakuda, which is obtainable by Yoriichi, and exclusive Arankar Hakuda, obtainable by Orochi the Shira boss in Huecomundo. With all of that description out of the way, to actually obtain the skills, you will get skills every three levels by a hand of cards with three skills maybe less if there aren't enough skill left so whenever these cards appear on your screen and you see this pop-up that i'm showing you at the bottom you will be able to select that and then choose one of the available skills you can either choose to get a new skill or upgrade the mastery on one that you already have upgrading a skills mastery decreases cooldowns as well as lowering their relatsu cost but also affect various skills in different ways. So if you are going for a specific build where you like to use one skill a lot, see if there are any other skills that synergize with it well and they work together. Your skills start at one mastery and can go up to mastery level three. Each line represents one upgrade and it can go up to mastery four with some skills using the crystal of prodigy. You will get 55 skill hands or 56 as Ajukar and 58 as Vastaka when you are max level. And like I said, you do have the option to use mastery if you just don't want to get new skills. Immediately upon getting new skills, they will be equipped and ready to use. I hope I was able to help you on how to equip skills in Paroxide. If this video helped you, please be sure to leave a like and subscribe for more very easy tips. Thank you for watching.